Welcome to the AI for Networking and Networking for AI course. This is a very unique course. Actually, it is the first course in the world covering both aspects of AI. So AI for networking use cases and network infrastructure for AI workloads and AI tasks, such as training, inference for large language models, foundational models, GAN AI, etc. I am glad you are here and I am excited to take you on the journey into the new world of AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning for network engineers. This course is designed to not only introduce these concepts, but also show how they apply directly to the networking. First, we will dive into the introduction to AI in networking. You will learn what AI, machine learning, deep learning really mean, and more importantly, why they matter to the network engineers. We will cover the key drivers that make AI so relevant like automation, optimization and analytics and explore how these technologies can enhance network design, operations and network security. Next, we will cover the foundations of AI, ML and deep learning. AI, artificial intelligence, ML, machine learning and deep learning. I will use sometimes for short AI, ML. Okay. Here, I will explain the fundamental concepts terminologies and applications of AI. We will also look at different types of machine learning, such as supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, and also I will discuss how deep learning techniques are becoming increasingly relevant to the networking tasks. Then we will move on to the AI and machine learning in network design. This section is full of real world, world considerations that network engineers face when integrating AI into their environments, okay? For instance, we will talk about aligning AI implementations with your organization's business needs, handling data sovereignty issues, and ensuring robust security measures. You will learn how to maintain assurance and integrity in your network, even as you integrate AI-driven processes. We will also cover important factors like storage and traffic impacts of AI, how to leverage auto-scalability, and how to assess the cost effectiveness and ROI return of investment of AI solutions. Additionally, we will discuss also governance politic, policies, ethical considerations and sustainability practices. So we will ensure how AI integrations are both responsible and efficient. Okay. Next, I will talk about AI network design use cases. And in this module, uh, in this section of the module, you will see practical examples of how AI, ML, and advanced models like large language models can provide predictive insights. So taking the historical data into an account and recognize patterns and help identify bottlenecks in your network. Okay. We will compare different AI driven approaches from machine learning and deep learning to the generative AI. And then we will try to understand their impacts on the infrastructure actually and resource requirements and optimization opportunities. Okay. Our most extensive most longest and uh, detailed module in this course, Networking for AI. And in this module, we will focus on the critical role of advanced networking technologies and techniques for the AI workloads. In the, uh, as you can see, high performance networking technology part, I will explain the networking technologies designed for the low latency and high bandwidth communication. I will explain how RDMA, InfiniBand, Raki, Raki V2, iWarp, Ultra Ethernet and UEC provide speed and reliability that AI tasks require, okay? Based on the AI requirements and constraints. And we will learn those and which one we should choose in which cases we will talk. Next, I will go through the compute accelerators and interconnect technologies. Of course, AI computation relies very heavily on the specialized hardware. I will talk about DPUs, TPUs, GPUs, FEGAs, and so on and so forth in this section. Uh, also, we will look at interconnect technologies like MVLink, MVSwitch, MVMA over fabrics, which help for low latency and high bandwidth between these nodes, between the GPUs, TPUs, and so on and so forth. Okay. Also, in this module, I will go through the management and congestion control mechanisms. Really smooth and reliable network communication. If you are looking from the AI infrastructure, it is very important for the AI workloads. Okay. Uh, between nodes, huge amount of data transfer normally happens. In this part of the course. I will cover the traffic management strategies at the layer two as well as layer three. In layer two, I will talk about the data center bridging technologies such as PFC, ETS, QCN, and DCBX. In layer three, I will explain protocols and methods like ECN, DCQCN, Timely, and HPCC. 
And we will see how these technologies can help with the end-to-end -end congestion control in AI network infrastructure. Okay, By understanding these technologies, uh, concepts and techniques, you will be able to hopefully optimize the AI networking infrastructure. And then you will understand how to choose the right technology and right protocol based on the given constraints and the requirements. Last but not least, as the technologies and protocols evolve, guys, I will continue to add new topics to the discourse. Make sure to join our study group in Discord after you enroll in this course and participate the discussion in AI channels there as well, okay? Let's get started. Enjoy studying with orhanagon.net.